The center is ensuring that Professor John Roth's legacy lives on. I came to Claremont Men's College, as it was known at the time, in the uh, summer of 1966. I got uh, good support from the college uh, when, when I began to shift my interest and my teaching and research in the direction of um, the Holocaust and genocide and human rights issues. And uh, secondly, I had great support from uh, colleagues on the faculty. When I arrived at CMC in 1999, John had already been here for about 30 years and he had already created a legacy of teaching courses about the Holocaust, but clearly he wanted to do more to institutionalize teaching about the Holocaust and genocide and human rights. Jonathan Petropoulos and I for three or four years uh, began to you know think about uh, about a center, but until you have some wherewithal, some financial support, it's not going to happen. Lee Crawford made the founding gift that uh, established the center. I had an amazing experience at, at CMC. I, I really loved it. And as I started to get some success at TCW, I really wanted to you know, give back to the school. One of my favorite classes that I ever took at CMC was uh, John Roth's, uh, Professor John Roth's course on the Holocaust. And so we realized that as he was retiring and he was considering what he was going to do uh, in his retirement, that we could launch and build a center, a research institute around, around his life's work. By 2002, we had our team together and we went forward and we created what was then called the Center for the Study of the Holocaust, Genocide and Human Rights. We didn't have any physical uh, location for it except our offices and our briefcases. Those were the early challenges, is conceiving the center, funding the center, developing the specific programs, and then once we had those bigger pieces in place, then it became a, a question of developing the specific initiatives, such as the academic travel. The first trip we did took, a, took us to uh, Poland and the Czech Republic. Another trip uh, centered in Berlin, in Germany, and it was uh, a meaningful experience. The internship program is probably the one program um, that the center has been developing, that it, it's developed its reputation, very positive reputation on campus for supporting internships. We really invite students to propose internships in the field of human rights, and they have been extraordinary. I had quite a few internship uh, and travel experiences through the center. I actually had the opportunity to go to Rwanda and to work with an organization called the Aegis Trust, which was uh, developing and preserving genocide memorials uh, throughout Rwanda. They're working with women in South America and Argentina and, and meeting with women in rural communities and discussing with them their, their rights. They're working with solar energy companies, installing solar energy panels in communities that have been destroyed by natural disasters. Internships are such an important way for students to gain experience and to forge careers and, and the center is really, um, it does an excellent job in that regard. Talking to the students who are involved with the center, it's, it's amazing to see their enthusiasm and their passion and all of them are really being able to explore these different areas in, in depth in a way that really wasn't available before the center was here. The work that I'm doing at the Human Rights Center is that uh, I am annotating a memoir about um, the Armenian Genocide. My goal is to become a human rights lawyer. The experience with the center was really informative uh, of what I ended up doing after I graduated. In fact, it, it's sort of how I got my job. I ended up going to work for the U.S. government as an intelligence analyst. Um, specializing in war crimes and human rights issues. And that included doing early warning of potential human rights violations and war crimes around the world. I think it's very important for any student that if you're gonna have a leadership role in business or politics, in law, finance, uh, having at least an awareness and sensitivity to human rights issues is critical in today's world. I consider the Center for Human Rights to be the conscience of CMC. Um, we have very ambitious, hardworking students focus on their goals, and the center allows them to be, in a sense, balanced and to be reflective and to have a certain perspective. As students move from being graduates to being part of the workforce, to being leaders of the workforce, if they don't understand human rights as a component of our modern world, um, they're missing out. 
And I think ultimately it would shortchange their ability to be effective leaders. The uh, Magrublian family gift is a tipping point, a turning point, um, and a horizon raising uh, moment for, for the center and for the college. If John Roth is the foundation and President Gann and Lee Crawford and Emory Donahue are pillars, well, the Magrublians now have created an entire edifice. They provided the walls and the windows and the garage and much more. I think this gift is a real game changer. Um, we faced a bit of an existential threat um, for a while and this gift is going to ensure that the center continues for many, many years to come. I want to just state um, my thank you to the Magrublian family. Thank you to David and Margaret for this incredible gift um, which is going to sustain us into the future and allow us to grow in ways that I was hoping to do but I didn't think was possible. Growing up in the Armenian community in Los Angeles, you know, I'm, 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 I was very tied to my Armenian identity and, and a part of that obviously, you know, understanding the Armenian genocide but give it like my parents, yes, they've you know talked to me about that, but they really have led by example. And you know, when they told me that you know that their their involvement with the center was going to really expand, um, it it made me really proud. What this money does, it makes the center a place where human rights can be a competitive force at Claremont McKenna and a competitive subject for the students that they can participate in and they can go out in the world and do internships and be exposed to human rights on the ground where it's happening and then that will become a part of their lives as they become leaders in society. That's probably the, the greatest value of the Magrublian gift, that uh, that gift will be channeled into uh, programs that will affect students in terms of what their values are, what their ethical orientation is, uh, and what some of their uh, passion and commitment is about in a world that still, unfortunately, has uh, so much atrocity and uh, disrespect for, for human life and human